you beautiful people, hope you're having a ripper of a day. I am. And today is a bit of a look back at what I've been up to over the last two weeks. We did have spoilers in the last vid, so now it's unspoiling time. So I went exploring and I found another village with General's mob farm there. I snuck a sleep in and continued exploring. Eventually I found a dark oak forest and spruce in the same area. So I harvested and replanted both wood types. It took a few turns to get eight saplings of it for the dark oak. Back at the village, I made some nicer stairs and prepped an area for my house. But I needed moss. So thanks to Respect and Fox, I knew where to find a lush cave. So I headed off there. I also wanted mud to make lots of mud bricks. Plus, I needed lots of moss blocks as well. And I knew I also wanted to get rid of the mud up on the cliffside so I could kill two birds with one stone, so to speak. A mud and moss combo. First I set up a simple composting machine, and off I went, a digging and a mossing. Uh-oh, here's trouble. If I stay near the banner guy, they should shoot him for me. They're gone. Back to work. I'm saving the granite. Don't know why. And I forgot to bring a diamond hoe, even though I actually have two of them. Here's all the mud I collected. I'm taking that back to the village. Now it looks much more reasonable. Little did I know we would all be climbing that hill on the way to the stronghold. So I ended up with plenty of resources from that terraforming project. Now this is the block palette I'm going to use for my split level house. And a last minute decision to include white terracotta. So, two levels are finished now and I can relax a little. I'll make this quick as you've seen mostly the finished product in the last episode. I decided to make a storage space down here and making an ender chest has been fantastic as well. I fixed up the zombie farm with Happy's idea to do the elevator up and then drop them down so that they're one hit kills. Of course I had to get through this little zombie horde first. I put two villagers here to trade for the rotten flesh. And I built this cool tree to go with the beehive. I really like the idea of using the growing naturally trees and just adjusting the trunks of them or a little bit here and there but they're essentially Minecraft tree or a combination of Minecraft trees like the acacia that I did. Anyhow, next episode, Dragonflight. Very cool. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hooroo!